Hi everyone, I'm Nick from Pixie Woo. Today we are on a shoot for Dare magazine. We've taken some time out so I can show you how to get a Marilyn Monroe look on Tanya Burr. Right, to start off with, I'm going to go straight in with Tanya Burr's Perfect Brows. I'm going to get a Real Techniques brow brush and I'm going to use a little bit of pebble to start off with. Place it on the lower part of the brow where it starts and just softly pulling upwards so it's giving an even colour. Now Marilyn's brows have a little bit of a sharp point just where the brow is at its highest point. So she got this lovely arch there. I'm then going to take this dainty brush that comes with the palette and the darker colour which is called hot cocoa and I'm just going to use that for the very underneath of the brow so we can get that line a little bit sharp. I'm going to actually mix these two colours together. This is the perfect palette for brows and just a little bit here so we can really define that arch. I'm then going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to take this gorgeous palette in fairy tale and I'm going to take a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm going to start off with this really pale cream tea all over the eyelid. It's going to give a lovely light wash of colour. And you can build with it. The more you pack it on, the longer it is going to last. And then going to keep with the same palette, but just swap brushes to a base shadow brush. I'm going to take a little bit of velvet cushion. I'm just going to do slight sideways motions to work that just into the crease of the eye. Now the great thing about this brush is it just fits into the socket of the bone. So if you're worried where to put the product, take the brush, place it in there and blend. And you can't really go wrong with it. Lovely, does it for you really. I'm going to come back to that palette in a minute. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of black gel liner. I'm going to take a fine liner brush and a little bit of gel. I'm just going to pop that on my hand so I can make sure that that brush is back in the shape it was before. Just going to get my flick first. I'm going to draw a little bit of a line there. A lot of people try to go too far down and then it makes the eyes look slightly sloped. You want to go from the lower lash line and continue upwards. I'm then going to go back to the palette. And in this palette there's a lovely black eyeshadow. I'm going to take the brush that we use for the brows, get a little bit of that black eyeshadow, tap it off and then just push it over the top of that eyeliner. It's going to help that seal into place. Now Marilyn also took a little bit of black just under the eye, just a tiny bit on this corner. Now it wouldn't be a Marilyn Monroe look without lashes. So I'm going to take a pair of Tanya Burr lashes, these ones are date night. Just glued the lashes, I'm going to get Tanya to hold on to them for me for a second while we add some mascara. This should be perfect timing for these lashes. By leaving the glue for a few seconds, about 20 seconds, it's going to have time to go a little bit tacky which makes them so much easier to apply. Now the glue should dry completely clear, but if you're really impatient, you can take a little bit of the black eyeshadow again and just run a bit over the glue seam. Lastly, we're going to move on to the lip. Now, Marilyn used a few colours because she wanted to make her lips look really, really full. You can see Tanya's lips are pretty full anyway, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to go slightly colour in the dark one, just in the corner, so it's going to make them look fuller and peltier. So to make a fuller lip, we're going to go up and round. And then we're going to take a slightly lighter colour and colour in the rest of the lip. I'm not worried about this being done really tidily, so I'm going to take a brush and just buff them together. I'm then going to take a little bit of lip gloss in Let's Travel the World. And I'm just going to use the same brush and pop that in the middle of the lip so it adds a really lovely pout. And there you have a really quick finished Marilyn Monroe look.